Yo, what's going on guys? It's Keep Battle Music Producer and DJ here today. And today I'm gonna be making a tutorial on teaching you guys on how to make bass house and G house vocals. So you know in bass house and G house um, they tend to have some like dark, deep, you know, and very down pitched vocals, like very deep vocals. And so I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to get that effect, you know, such as like Mala, Takami, you know, Jordan Rye, Abranovsky, and all these big DJs. So let's get started. All right, guys, as you guys can see, we are here loaded up on FL Studio. But just before we start, I just wanted to mention that, you know, you guys are going to need a third party plugin called Manipulator. Manipulator is basically like a vocoder or like an auto tune uh, plugin. And so, you know, with this plugin, you could do many sorts of, you know, different sound effects for your vocals and everything. And so another thing I want to mention is that make sure you guys are using a vocal from either Splice, a sample pack, one recorded from a studio or one recorded with a good microphone. And the reason for that is because manipulator tends to pick up frequencies and you know, it'll sometimes get the vocals out of key in certain parts and it won't sound good. So make sure you guys are using a decent quality vocal. All right, so first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is you guys are gonna wanna load up your vocals and this is how the vocals I'm using sound. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. And so the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is you guys wanna get your vocals and root that to a mixer channel. After your vocal is rooted to a mixer channel, what you wanna do is you wanna load up a parametric EQ2 and then we're gonna be getting the presets 40 hertz uh, cut. And then basically what I'm doing here is I'm gonna be using the steps that I used in my how to mix like a pro, how to mix your vocals like a pro. I'm gonna be using those steps. So uh, I'm gonna bring this down to around 196 just to make sure the the vocals are you know there so you could you know so they won't sound too empty all right and then we're gonna be loading up another eq and then i'm gonna mix these vocals real quick and i'll be back all right as you guys can see we just all i did is i removed some of the low mids high mids mids you know treble and all that and so since this vocal does tend to peak a lot on the treble i just cut a little bit of the high mids and the treble and then next step what you want to do is you want to load up the manipulator and so once you're in manipulator you want to click right here and click on the sub sub subtle subtle uh, category and you want to go ahead and press on mark and this is how it sounds gotta keep the flame on max i'm gonna keep it going till there ain't nothing left gotta keep the flame on max i'm gonna keep it going till there ain't nothing left all right so, and the next thing you want to do is you want to go to manipulator and i like to bring this down maybe up to six negative six on the format and this is how it sounds gotta keep the flame on max i'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left so it just makes the vocal a little bit deeper next step what you want to do is you want to clone the vocal all right so now that you have once you cloned your vocal and you have it right here on the separate track what you want to do is you want to get the second uh or the cloned vocal and put it into another mixer channel. And after that, what you want to do is you want to right click on the on the main on the manipulator um, mixer channel. Then you're gonna go to file and then save mixer state as, and then just drop it onto the on the cloned vocal. And after this, what you're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the manipulator and we're gonna load up a reverb. Here, if you guys want to go ahead and copy them. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. So this is the cloned vocal. All I did is I removed the manipulator. I turned it off and I just added a reverb. Alright, and so the vocals both sound together like this. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. And so next step that you wanna do is you guys are gonna wanna, you know, balance the vocals or you know, balance the vocals on the way you would you like them. Lower the, the deeper vocal a little bit. And then Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. There you go, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good because it's not too deep nor too basic. 
this is how the vocals sound with you know the free space and everything. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Gotta keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Alright guys, I'm gonna be wrapping up the video here today. I just wanna thank you guys for tuning in. And also, I want to thank you guys for helping me reach 600 subscribers, you know, been kind of off lately, but you know, we're back, more tutorials are going to be coming soon, I just want to thank you guys so much for the, for the support, and yeah, thank you guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, brand new music and more videos going to be coming soon, thank you.